Hey, good afternoon, gamers and tech friends. Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. By the way, did you guys miss it yesterday? Borderlands 2 came out, and that game looks incredible with the PhysX enabled. PhysX is actually one of the really cool things about that thing. So let us know if you've got that, and if you want to buy it, there'll be a link in the description below. But today, we're doing the unboxing and the full review of a really interesting product from the people over at Corsair. This is their new Neutron GTX 240 gigabyte SSD. It features an all new controller and is rumored to be the fastest drive out there at the moment. Whether that holds up to be true or not, let's see in the benchmarks. But for now, let's unbox this bad boy and see what this new Neutron is all about. All right, folks, so here we can see the box of the new Corsair Neutron Series GTX based 240 gigabyte SSD. Now, this SSD features its own processor and features new technologies like Toggle NAND, which I'll actually get into more in my written review. Um, but today we're going to do the unboxing and we'll show you the performance of this new drive. Here you can see the front of it. They have random read up to 90K IOPS, random write up to 90K IOPS. This one's a seven millimeter height drive. You guys have asked us to include that. This is actually on the box, so these guys make it nice and easy for everybody to know. Flip it around the box. Now, basically right here is the new thing. It says push the limits of SATA six gigabit per second performance with Corsair's Neutron Series GTX SSD. The professional grade processor and enhanced toggle NAND deliver incredible real world read, write, and IOPS performance speeds. So that's really the big features of the drive. I'll get this up to the camera real quick because if anybody's buying this, this is going to be the important information for them. Hopefully we can zoom into that enough for you folks. So move on, got my trusty little knife right here. Gonna make a little quick insertion here in the top. Pull the drive out. Set that down. So we'll set the box off over here by the speaker. Right off the bat, we get the Corsair's warranty against defects, notification for Australian consumers. So I guess if you live in down under, they got some strict laws there, and if your drive comes bad, they make you send it back or to give them another shrimp on the bottom. Anyways, just jesting there. So we'll continue on. Here you can also see they include the 3.5 adapter bay. So this way you can put this into your normal hard drive bay in your system, not the drive, move on. Flip it around, remove from the plastic right here. Oops. Okay, two different pieces of plastic. Go ahead and just pull this out for you folks. You can see it's black. Has the Corsair nomenclature. Four screws for mounting your drive. We'll actually get to the drive itself. Try to pull it out of there. Okay. So we have two different sets of screws in these little bags right here. One set of screws will be mounting your drive to this, and the other will be for mounting it into the bay. Set that up to the side. Here's the drive. It's very, very thin, very, very light. Like we said, this is a seven millimeter drive. There's two different types, seven millimeter and nine millimeter. This is the smaller of the two. Flip it around the back. See all the mounting holes. There's also mounting holes on the side here. I can't believe how light this is. It feels like I have nothing in my hand, honestly. Here are your connectivity for your SATA and for your power. And honestly, folks, I just gotta tell you this thing's really thin. Now that we've seen the basic features and what comes inside the box, let's jump in and let's actually see the performance of this drive and how it compares to the competition. Let's go. Well, 
As you can see, folks, the benchmarks, they don't lie. This is actually, so far, the fastest in ASSD that we've seen yet. It has the highest overall score of any drive that we have currently tested. That's pretty damn incredible. So right off the bat, I'm going to give this drive an editor's choice. Now, for those of you out there who want the latest and greatest and are interested in purchasing this drive, for information on its availability and pricing, look for the link in the description below. Not much more to be said, because basically, the benchmarks tell it all. As far as the endurance of the drive goes, well, you guys know that's only going to come as we test it. So I've got it in the lab, hooked up on a system. We're going to be using it for folding at home and stuff like that, and we'll keep that drive active for quite a while. We'll see if it breaks. But that's really the only way to honestly test how long a drive lasts. Because you guys see, some of these things are like, you know, 100,000 hours, you know, mean time between failure. That's a long time of Elric's life. So until later, we'll see you guys back here on motherboards.org.